I decided to open up this power supply just to see if it's feasible to put another power supply inside of this case. And look at this. Uh, dust bunnies, look at that. <laughs> oh man, the thing is disgusting. Gross. All right, I guess I should blow this out before I start taking it apart. All right, that's better. Looks pretty good actually now that I blew it out. Um, I really don't have much of a choice with this PSU situation. I mean, I think it's deep enough to put the guts from a modern PSU in there. All right, this PSU has been sitting around for, you know, at least a couple weeks two or three weeks now with no power running through it. I'm not, too, I'm not too worried about getting electrocuted. I am still gonna be careful and try not to touch components that I don't need to touch, but I don't know. I guess I'm just kind of heading it off at the pass for the people in the comments section <laughs> where everybody says, Oh my god, you're taking apart a PSU. It's super dangerous. Alright, let's go ahead and pull this all these guts out. This is pretty much worthless. I don't need to save any of this shit. Alright, we got all the screws out. We're gonna lift that big chunk away. Alright, now we have to take apart my other power supply. Alright, here's the power supply. It's a decent power supply, it's just getting kind of old. It's probably, I'm just guessing, but it's probably 10 years old. Look at the size difference between that and this. <laughs> That's a pretty small PSU compared to that big thing. And it's 150 watts more powerful. All right, let's start getting this thing apart. So, I got everything loose. Kind of just sitting there on the chassis. And the only thing that's left holding it in is the plug and the power switch. And unfortunately, there's no way to remove these without cutting the metal or breaking plastic or something like that. So um, it's a do or die situation. You know what I mean? It either works and it's awesome or it doesn't work and I ruin a PSU. So, let's do it. Maybe I'll do it like, maybe I'll just do it like this at first and then I'll trim it up later. Here it goes, guys. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> but, whatever. I did get this, this PSU for pretty cheap as far as like the components that I got in that that computer that I bought off of Craigslist. And I've already made money off of that computer. Ooh, it's getting close to those components in there. All right, it's free. I cannot believe I just cut this PSU out of there. it in there it does look like it's going to clear so I think I'm gonna cut this out and um, probably double sided tape it to this area and then I'll have you know a nice solid spot to put that PSU but first of all I need to grind off this point and these points maybe not that one but these two for sure all right here's the pan from the other PSU. I had to drill a hole right here and kind of notch this out a tiny bit. I did it a little bit too much, but it don't matter. And then this is going to just 
kind of, I had to do this hole because of this button right here and this little notch because of that one. And this pan is kind of lying, lying on top of these two bumps like that. And then I'm just going to get some double sided tape, I think, on all four corners, maybe one in the middle. And, um, secure it that way. All right. Do this. Seems to be stuck down really nice. Happy with that. And then this will go. Right onto its stock mounting points. So as of right now, it looks like I was able to stuff this thing in there. All right, that's awesome. Um, now I need to cut out this little piece right here and I need to learn, or learn, uh, I need to figure out how I'm gonna mount this. I was able to reposition the plug and the power switch and I mounted it right there with these two screws. I had cut out the metal right here to accommodate the switch. I got all these kind of bundled together, the ones that I'm going to be using, and then the other ones are going to be tucked away and zip tied out of the way right here. I decided the best way to do these fans is just to power it off of this header, and I just clipped the wire off here. I'm going to wire it directly into these um, power leads, put some heat shrink on it, and basically be done.